Welcome to Irons United, another transfer window show. Um, this one focuses on Pablo Fornells. Um, there have been heavy rumours uh, on Sky Sports today that uh, we are close to signing this player uh, for around about 22 to 24 million pounds and are in the process of talking through his personal terms. Um, so who is he? He's a 23-year-old Spanish player currently plying his trade for Villarreal in La Liga. Five foot eight, uh, preferred role uh, as a number 10, just behind the striker. Uh, he's an attacking midfielder, a playmaker. Uh, however, he's comfortable also as a, uh, as a central midfielder, uh, also as a, as a central, uh, uh, as a creative wide player as well. So he's a very versatile player and would be um, a, a very useful for any, any squad. Um, He's a tricky little player who has the ability to wriggle out of uh, very tight spaces and uh, is always one step ahead in his thinking about how to use the ball when he has it at his, at his feet. Um, but despite his flair and obvious uh, technical talent, he's also accustomed to rolling up his sleeves and uh, is quite happy to play his role in tracking back and helping his team to defend. So uh, he sounds like the box-to-box -box midfielder that West Ham have been crying out for for quite a number of seasons. With so many players being linked to West Ham, Fornells is beginning to sound more like the player that the team might really need. Um, we've been linked to defensive midfielders like Lobotka, um, Gomez, who Everton is still favourites to sign. We've been linked to attacking midfielders like uh, for Fortunis of Olympiakos, Sanson of uh, Marseille, Brahimi of Porto, but Fornells is the first box-to-box -box, um, midfielder that we've been linked to, as far as I'm, I'm aware. But in order to make way for his talent, uh, at 22 to 24 million pounds, we have another player in our team who has very similar skills, very, very similar traits to Fornells. Yep, that's Manuel Lanzini. And we all know the issues at the now surrounding Man Lanzini and his contract. Um, apparently there's a five-year deal on the table for Lanzini um, that he hasn't signed. Apparently we've got a, a two-year option on his current contract, which is in dispute. Um, and if neither the five-year deal or the two-year extension is going to come to fruition, uh, Lanzini is effectively in his final year of his contract. Um, so what will happen? Will we try to encourage Lanzini to sign a new contract um, or, uh, and, and also buy um, Fornells uh, to have them both compete for that same spot? Or will we cash in on Lanzini uh, and uh, have Fornells in as his replacement? I'm beginning to wonder uh, if we're going for a player like Fornells that uh, the latter will happen and Lanzini will be sold in order to make way for Fornells. It seems to be the case. Um, plus, uh, Lanzini uh, is going to be, if he does look for an extended contract, he's going to be looking for more money. He's going to be looking for maybe £90,000, £100,000 a week, whereas uh, Fornells will probably come in at a lot less, maybe forty, fifty, sixty thousand £60,000 a week. So um, the odds are stacked against Lanzini, aren't they, in a way? Um, they're stacked in favour of Fornells perhaps being the player to come in. Now there are half a dozen other players in West Ham squad that are in the final year of their contract as well. Um, so um, West Ham can't simply can't afford to let these players uh, run their contracts down and leave for nothing. Um, tune in to another transfer uh, show on Sunday evening at 7pm where I'll be talking about those players, those players in particular and talking about what could happen to them throughout the summer. So back to Fornells. Um, he isn't the fastest player around, but he's got an engine on him. As I said, he sounds very much like, like a box-to-box -box midfielder, and he sounds like he's the sort of player that just will keep running and running and running until the, whistle, the final whistle has been blown. In his first season at uh, Villarreal, he matched Luis Suarez and none other than Lionel Messi, uh, for the number of assists in a, in a season, 12 in total. Um, he scored four goals uh, in that season as well, 17-18 season. So he doesn't score as many goals as uh, Messi and, uh, and um, uh, Suarez, but uh, to, to be 
matching the same number of uh, assists in a season isn't uh, is no mean feat in its own right. Um, it, last season for Villarreal, um, he only scored in six goals and assisted in five, so he didn't quite match the dizzy heights of his first season for them. But then he was playing for a team that finished fourteenth in the league, which is uh, not great for Villarreal. Um, it's rumoured that Pellegrini still wants to pull off the double deal uh, of uh, Labotka and Gomez at Celta Vigo. And if we add four nails into the mix, that's going to be a combined spend of around £80 million. Now, given that the club have given Pellegrini only £30 million to spend, how are we going to find the extra uh, £50 million? Well, in addition to the £30 million, uh, we've already uh, acquired another £11 million through the sale of Perez and Fernandez, um, So that still leaves a consider considerable difference. Well, Lanzini, uh, if Fornells is coming in, Lanzini could really go, go for 25 million. And then we've got the sale of Byram, Sanchez and Hernandez in the pipeline who could generate yet another 15 million. That will give us the 80 million to make the purchase of these three players. So, um, it's looking on the cards, isn't it? Um, I think Pellegrini and Huzelas will step up their efforts to start signing more players, uh, in addition to the two free um, uh, goalies that we've signed, and we'll, they'll be stepping up their efforts to sell those players in order to make all this happen. So, um, I think there's going to be a busy week coming up. So look out for our other uh, transfer window shows. Um, Listen out for that special on uh, our players who are in the final year of their contract on Sunday and uh, come on your eyes.